Lika-chan is all grown up. She is tired because she has been pregnant since the 90s. And she wants to have her baby. She looks tired. Look at her. <laughs> so I made a video already um, of me unboxing this doll, who is basically Lika-chan, all grown up and pregnant. And um, if you guys want to see basically how that whole thing works, check out my previous video on the subject. Today's video, however, is kind of me trying to go back in time as best I can and do this the most natural way possible. So when you bought this doll back in the 90s, you did not get the baby. So you got Lika, who was pregnant, as you can see, and you got lots of little bits, sort of in preparation for motherhood and all these wonderful things. But on the back of the box, you got a coupon and you sent your coupon away for free. And within a week or two, you would have been sent, like literally posted a baby from the company. <laughs> so I guess that was their way of, of sort of simulating childbirth and the arrival of a baby to the family. <laughs> so for the last video, I decided because I bought these second hand, but they're, they're new, they were in box. This one I also managed to find with it. Um, but I waited for a few weeks because I thought I really want to kind of capture that experience of having to wait like you would have done as a child getting this doll and then waiting for the baby and you know all that fun sort of nostalgia that I didn't have but I would have absolutely loved. <laughs> so this is what would have come in the post. Da, 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 da. So we'll start here. Now I did go over this in my other video of course um, in a lot more detail but we'll just give a quick quick peek. So there's kind of a storybook a mummy chicken and a chick and inside <laughs> this this really made me laugh last time honestly um yeah a smaller size underpants because obviously she's going to drop a few sizes the minute this baby is gone she's going straight back to like size eight you know perfect figure which i don't think happens in real life i've, I've yet to see that happen <laughs> so yeah but you know i do appreciate that little detail because in my previous video, you guys, if you've seen it, will remember that she comes with a large pair of polka dot granny panties. <laughs> so back to the tighty whities But for now, now I don't know what this says. So please excuse me on that because I genuinely don't know. It could be the details of the baby. I honestly don't know. So I'll have to look into that. <laughs> and it also came with a key. So the function of the key was to open the mechanism that is Lika-chan's belly to remove the pregnancy, remove the pregnant bump, because then the baby would be here. So she's not going to be pregnant with the baby if it's born. <laughs> so yeah, that's interesting. So I suppose in light of fairness, we probably should let Lika-chan have a bit of a labor so I'm going to put her into position and we will get her ready to have her baby. So I didn't want to be fiddling around too much with this on camera because I've done all of this in the previous video. Um, so basically your key pops into this sort of slot which pops it open a little bit here. The same kind of idea here or you can wiggle it free. Sorry, my... my um camera doesn't really want to focus. Oops, a daisy. So sometimes this could take two or three times just to really... There we go. Boop. Nice and easy. <laughs> and there's the back half. So that was a very easy birth for Lika. Now I'm going to change her underwear off camera because she has, you know, she has um, standards. <laughs> so we'll pause just for a sec. No more stretchy panties for you. Woohoo! I just think that's quite funny, honestly. And a nice touch because, of course, she has to wear something after the birth. And I do see there's a little mark here, but I will be, you know, I'll be washing her and everything. I haven't gotten around to doing it yet because um, I noticed in the last video as well, her skin is a little bit greasy. Um, and sometimes older dolls, that can happen just over time and from being in their box. So, yep, here's our mechanism which you can easily put back on. Simple, really. They just sort of fit together like so. One, two. 
Now, I'll be honest, I don't really think you need a key to do this. I think any item that fits in there would do the same thing. But, you know, for the purpose of um, of the doll and getting the baby and all that good stuff, I guess that's... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to take her panties away there now. All right. So, it's kind of the minute I know I've been waiting for. The arrival of the infant, who was quite large. I don't know. It's just me. It's a big baby. So, I guess she had a cesarean. I don't know. Um, so, I guess... Yeah, it looks pretty simple. Well, hopefully, you don't have to cut the top. Oh, no. No, it looks easy. So, it's just these two kind of... What would you call those? Bubbles. That you have to kind of... Is that tape? Yeah, it is. Just the same. My trusty scissors. Don't want to cut the pillow. Oh, there we go. Okay. So from her cocoon. Oh no, there's more tape. Yeah, just there. <laughs> this is awkward to do whilst also trying to look into a camera. There we go. So. Oh my goodness, one more piece of tape. Okay, the tape didn't yellow at all over time, so that's kind of impressive, honestly. Sometimes when you buy an older doll and you see the tape, it's either gone really sticky and kind of like, oh, the baby's out. No, no escape for you, child. <laughs> I mean, you know, it came out. Oh, blanket is kind of fuzzy. That's quite nice. So, da 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 da, -da we have a baby. He's very cute. So we'll have a look at the wee bit of packaging first. I mean, hello baby. It's, yep. Again, hello baby. Anything there you might want to see? I mean, that's pretty standard. It's kind of just cardboard. Now I have no idea. Apparently, like, it could be a boy, it could be a girl, we don't know. I've just noticed that it has adorable ears. So that is precious incredibly so the eyes have this really cute sort of well the eyes are closed and this sort of yellow eye color on top of the lid with a little white water dot and a green dot I don't know why that's there but it's cute tiny eyebrows Lika you know there you go that's your, that's your child now I'm dying to see if there is Anything distinguishing about the insides? Is there maybe a colour, you know, like traditional blue and pink? I don't know. We're about to find out, I hope, I think. Okay. Okay, so, yeah. Nope. <laughs> I guess, um, yeah, I just, I guess it's uh, just a baby. Doesn't have any, you know, given. Actually, I quite like that. That's, that's a nice thing. Because I know I was, I had read, I'm just going to have a sort of a look there, off camera actually, excuse me. Yep, nothing distinguishing whatsoever. Okay. Yeah, because I'd read a lot of comments online that's like, oh, you get to see whether it's a boy, whether it's a girl, you know. Um, but I actually love that it's, it's neutral. It, it can be anything. I like that better, honestly. So that is what her baby looks like. So cute. Now, personally, I suppose, I, I guess it's a playset thing. Um, everything is very pink. <laughs> so I guess, like, you could assume that that's maybe more feminine. Or, I mean, you don't necessarily have to assume that. But, um, yeah, I mean, everything is pink. Why not yellow or something? So, you know, Lika, is, it, is this canonically supposed to be a daughter? I guess so. Well, the head is really, um, me. <laughs> So what does it say here? I'm going to have a look myself there first. Takara 92, I think it says, China. Now I can't really see that. It's very lightly, very, very lightly raised. It's very hard to see, even just with the naked eyes. So you kind of see there that there is something there. It's just quite hard to catch it. So I'm going to go ahead and just assume that Lika has a daughter, just for the ease of the video. Um, could be, could be either, could be, you know, 
it's up to up to the child themselves, I think. I'm gonna go ahead and put this little bib on because it's adorable. Now this is yellow, I like this. Okay, that is far too cute. Now, obviously, an infant won't be sitting upright, really, will it? But um, just for <laughs> just for the sake of this, <laughs> makes life a little bit easier. Let's see. We've got this gigantic teddy bear that's the size of the baby. Like, why is it that every baby, myself included, I I think every baby that's born generally there's always one relative that comes along with a teddy bear that's at least like twice the size of the baby. Um, it's always really cute to see them grow up, of course, with these things, but um, yeah, they're not necessarily always the most convenient toy to have in the kids' room, because like, where do we put the bear? So, you know, this one isn't too crazy, it's, you know, about the same. Let's see, we went through all of these already in the first video, so I guess there's no point really in them. Um, I don't think this would fit here, to be fair, no. It's not really an open mouth. Just a mouth with a, there we go, a mouth with a slight opening. Yeah, there we go. My camera doesn't really want to focus for me. Focus for me. Come along. No, it's okay. The head is really loose. It's funny. So, you know what? I'm going to hand over El Bambino. To Lika, who's been waiting, you know, three decades for this. Well done, Lika. You look kind of worn out there, but um, I hope it was all worth it. Here we go. Yeah, I mean, when I'm not trying to do this in front of a camera, I'll definitely be able to do that a little bit more neatly. Let's see. So just posing baby on its own with some of the accessories. I mean, I know that this isn't meant to be like a bassinet to sleep in, but it, it does the job, you know. It's more of a, a basket for items, I think, because she is slightly too big for it. But you know, it works. I mean, if, if your child or whatever is playing mommy, like this would be a perfectly acceptable place to sleep. I mean, not quite, but uh, yeah, it's meant for the items, really. I suppose mom should be holding the baby. She's gone to sleep. So, oh yeah, I never actually showed this. So, basically, it's a cute cape, like a tiny pair of ears. It's basically just a square, so very easy to swaddle with. One, two, and then three. Very simple. And the head is here. It's really, really lovely soft material as well. It is very nice. This is lovely and soft also. So is the bear. The bear is adorable and terrifying. It kind of reminds me of rabbits. Is it the eyes? I don't know, it just does, you know? And here we have slightly uh, older baby sitting in basket with teddy bear. Still asleep because the eyes are closed. <laughs> now that's a cute image right there. Poor Alika Chan has been in labor for 30 years, so she deserves her sleep. <laughs> I think so, anyway. So, yeah, I'm going to actually give these guys just a nice kind of a wash style for her because her hair is, you know, she's just a bit greasy out of a box. And then she's going to go with the rest of my Alika Chan, but she, they're not going back into their box because I, I always find that quite sad. Um, but I do keep the boxes. For Rika Chan, anyway, I certainly do because um, I don't have that many, you know, boxed Rikas. I do have one or two in box that haven't been opened yet. <laughs> I should say yet because someday I probably will. I'm going to leave you on one final view of this. Um, <laughs> if it was only so easy, you know, just hey, doctor, uh, could you just remove my bump for me there? And, uh, you know, that would be funny. That'd be a funny world. I don't think we'd appreciate it though. I don't know. Maybe we would. Milk. Here you go, kid. Even though you're a newborn infant and you can't hold that on your own. There you go. You gotta live and look after yourself now. Mother has done all the work for 30 years. Oh, okay. There's one more thing I want to do before we finish, actually, because I'm silly, you know. 
it has to be done. <laughs> I mean, why not? Here you go. You got a second outfit for your baby. Yeah, gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you had nothing and you were stuck, I mean, at the very least, it's a like a like a punch, a pouch. I mean, who's going to know? Nobody's going to know. They're going to know. I mean, if you were stuck, you know, you could just uh, <laughs> make use of it at least. So, yeah. If you ever find a, a baby in the thrift store or somewhere and it doesn't have any clothes... There's my a patented idea for a nappy. But I still think it's quite funny. Alright guys, I'm going to end my video there. Thank you so much for watching. And be sure to check out part one if you hadn't already. So you can get a proper breakdown of Lika herself. Oops. Until next time guys. Bye.